in order to support the growth of an organism cells need to grow and divide but after a point of time cells also need to die so there are two categories of gene one which promotes cell division proliferation and growth known as proto oncogenes and other category is tumor suppressor gene which prevent the excessive growth of the cells or a tissue so any uncontrolled mutation uncontrolled proliferation would be a cause of cancer now any gain of function mutation in the proto oncogene or loss of function mutation in tumor suppressor gene might lead to uncontrolled division which would ultimately lead to cancer right now it is important to understand any loss of function mutation in proto in in tumor suppressor genes would create cancer so tumor suppressor as the name suggests this suppress formation of tumor now tumor suppressor genes fall under two broad categories one are called gatekeeper and another category is known as caretaker the gatekeepers are those tumor suppressor genes or product of those tumor suppressor genes which would directly suppress the growth and caretakers overall maintain the genetic stability as a result the chance of mutation is reduced if the caretakers are functioning properly now cell cycle regulatory genes and cell cycle checkpoint control genes fall under this gatekeeper category apart from that genes which control apoptosis is also in this category whereas caretakers involve mostly dna repair proteins and several proteins which are which are important for maintaining dna integrity and all now we know that at g1 phase mitogenic signals come and the mitogenic signals ultimately give rise to cyclin d production so anything which would prevent cyclin d uh, activation would be called as a tumor suppressor gene we know that prb normally stop the progression of the cell cycle from g1 to s by sequestering e2f and now cyclin d and cdk4 prevent that and phosphorylate PRB to free E2F. So PRB is an important tumor suppressor gene because when PRB is non-functional, the growth and proliferation occurs. But in a normal state, PRB makes sure that the cell cycle does not exit from G1 to S. So let's say there is a DNA damage. Now there are two options. One option is to kill the cell. Second option is to give the cell some time to halt and uh, correct its mistake. So the option one is basically triggered by p21, which is itself transcribed by p53. Now both p53, p21, they suppress the activity directly or indirectly of cyclin D and CDK4 complexes. So without that, the cell cycle would halt. At G1 to S transition. That is why these P21 or P53 they are both tumor suppressor. Not only that, if for extreme cases where the damage is irreparable and irreversible, that situation there are specific there are specific proteins such as BAX, BAD, BEAD, all PCL family proteins which would induce apoptosis. Now these proteins would be also considered as tumor suppressor because they normally kill the cell and ensures uncontrolled proliferation or growth doesn't take place so there are two family of proteins cip family and ink4 family which inhibits cyclin d and cdk4 complex activity so all of these are tumor suppressor genes now tumor suppressor genes at extreme cases can lead to apoptosis for example p53 which is a tumor suppressor gene can coordinate with other tumor suppressor genes such as bax and allow bax transcription when bax is transcribed and translated bax create small holes on the mitochondrial membrane as a result cytochrome c is coming out in the cytosol that interacts with 
APOF1 to activate caspase and thereby bring about apoptosis. So the PACs, P53, all these which regulate growth and apoptosis are tumor suppressor genes. Now we come to DNA damage. We definitely know if the DNA damage is there and the genome is replicated in that situation and this damage is not uh, repaired properly, then at a mRNA level or at a protein level, there could be mutant proteins, right? That could have a mutant functionality. So overall damage in the DNA could be detrimental for cell. So that's why cell has surveillance mechanism, cell has repair mechanism that can find out where is the damage and can repair the damage. So these DNA damage repair and surveillance mach uh, machineries are part of tumor suppressor genes and they fall under the uh, caretaker category. They have house, uh, they have a housekeeping function. So they ensures that overall genomic stability and integrity is maintained. One great example is the mutations in the genes of nucleotide excision repair cause the cancer xenoderma pigmentosum which is a cancer of the skin. So tumor suppressor genes are absolutely important for normal growth, no, so for checking normal growth and ensuring uncontrolled growth cannot happen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.